Hey everyone, it's John again. Just going to quickly go over a quick tutorial about the setup of the class. Um, if you're watching this, hopefully you've seen your introduction and know who I am. If not, I'm TA. It's nice to meet you. So what I'm going to do here um, is show you a quick overview of what the class is going to look like. Um, hopefully you've already seen this. Obviously, this is the 2020 version. 2021 is still being edited a bit. Um, you'll get in, you'll see a description, um, be able to click on the lectures that you'll see. The lectures here are broken up into units and in order to watch it, you would just simply click on it and you have a YouTube video with our professor Chris and hit play or watch it on YouTube if you want. There's a playlist that will play them in automatic order. Um, Feel free to go back to list all the videos so you can go and kind of click around. Highly recommend watching them in order. Um, they do reference each other. Um, so if you start bouncing around and say you miss a Hamiltonian path, that's probably gonna come up in polynomials and exponentials. So make sure, make, make sure you're in order, it'll be a lot easier. Um, a few supplemented, supplementary materials just for some interesting questions. Um, the frequently asked questions, please take your time and go ahead and read it. Um, there's a lot of information here and all of it is incredibly good to just read over, make sure you understand it. Any questions, obviously let me know. Um, there's also a course schedule here in this um, particular section. Now, the thing I really want to highlight and go over is this tab, the My Progress tab. Um, the, you will have five exams and each one will be um, kind of submitted through here. This is how you'll be able to see how exactly things are being taken care of inside the course. Now, this is from last year. Um, I technically didn't submit anything, even though I was a TA for last summer. Um, just bear with me on my poor grade. I guarantee you I know this stuff at least well enough to not have a zero. <laughs> um, so what you'll see here is that when things are submitted, you'll see a check mark. Um, and eventually when things are graded, you will see your score. Um, submission obviously be right here. The review section, this is the part I wanna go into detail with. This course has a peer review system. If you've taken some of the SFI courses before, you might know what this is. If not, I'm just gonna quickly go over it. So in order to get a grade on your submitted exams, instead of me grading all couple hundred of you, um, we're going to do a peer review system, means you, means you will grade each other's exams. So in here, you'll have links to three other people's exams. Um, what you'll do, you'll click on a link, you'll be able to download their exam, and you'll be able to grade it. And they'll, you'll have three people doing the same to you, and your grade will become about that way. Um, now, in order to do that, there's a few steps that we need to talk through. Um, number one, you need to submit your exam on time. If you don't submit it on time, um, the system um, won't let you peer review anyone because you didn't submit an exam. Um, make sure you submit it on time. It makes this whole thing much easier. Um, be careful not to include your name on the document itself. Um, just in case someone knows you and don't want to have a biased grading system. Um, now, the exams will be due at a certain point, and then one week later, give or take, the reviews will be due. So you'll have one week to review three people's exams. Um, we will be providing a rubric, we'll be providing answers, we'll be doing all of that. Um, so don't feel like you have to know what the answers are going in will be providing you with a grading rubric for each exam and each question within those. Um, so again, there will be links here. They'll click on the link. They'll bring up their exam. You'll also bring up a rubric and you'll be able to kind of click through and say, this question earns two points, this one earns three and so on and so forth. Um, there will be a section you'll be required to fill in some comments as well. Um, then you will hit submit. That person's exam is graded you'll go on to the other two you'll have to complete. For the grading system in particular, see this percentage of final grade, um, exam threes was a little more in the summer. Um, 
to be determined what these exactly look like. But within each exam, so let's say for unit exam one, you submit it, two thirds of your grade will be determined by the people reviewing yours. So three people are going to review it. Um, let's say you get 80s across the board, you get 80% on everything. Um, that means through other people's reviews, you have earned 80% of 66.6% or it's 53.3%. Um, and that's just from your peer reviews. The other one third of your grade is from you doing the peer review itself. Um, and it's an all or nothing thing. You have to do all three. Um, so if you peer review all three of the exams that are given in this box right here, you will earn 33.3% of your grade. Um, remembering that you earned 80 through the peer reviews, that means in total, you earn 56, 53.3% plus 33.3 .3 or 86.6% for that exam. Um, and can't remember the passing percentage off the top of my head, but I was easily passing. So if that was you, congratulations. Um, if you have any concerns with any of the process, for example, if you think a peer review missed, was misunderstanding something and gave you a bad grade or um, you submitted it late, or some, something else happened, something else came up, email me. Um, the exam, um, the, the exams can be a little confusing, especially on the first one, um, especially if you haven't done this, haven't gotten used to the system yet. Um, email me as soon as you think there's a problem. Um, my job is to make sure those problems go away. So email me, I'll either grade it by hands, I'll make sure it's submit sent to the right people, Whatever I have to do, I will um, ensure that your grade is fair. Um, yeah, I think that is it on this end. Um, again, this is probably the most complicated part of the course are these peer reviews. Um, again, any questions, email me as soon as they come up, post them on the discussion board, which will be on this page as well. Um, yeah, looking forward to. Um, fielding your questions, looking forward to using use to how to do this. And yeah, thank you.